Now another irritating thing that we have is um, obviously whatever we need to export, uh, we have put up an export keyword uh, before the interface or before the class or even members and functions. So um, in case you are trying to export multiple things, like if you want to avoid this export keyword multiple number of times, from the same file if you wish to export multiple number of things, what you can plan is, um, let's try to avoid this export keyword from here, here and here and here. And then what we can plan to do is uh, at the end or we can just specify export and we can specify what all things we wish to export from here. So I wish to export I person, I wish to export person, I wish to export customer and I wish to export employee from here. So you can very well export these multiple things at once from one single file and typical import can be as it is. Now take an example. Suppose I wish to export here one more class. So a class uh, which is called as, let's say, a special report class. So I just said I need to export special report class as well. But then several times the class name that we have used, maybe I need to use some sort of short form or some sort of allies name in order to uh, use it somewhere. So we may specify that a special report should be sent as, and I really want to export this as maybe SR. So special report will be exported as SR. So in case of 0TS file, if I really have to import special report, I will not mention special report now, I'll rather mention SR. Similar way, which means if you have given the allies name here, you can always refer that allies name over here. Can I refer special report? No. Here you can't refer special report now because special report is exported as SR. Now <clears throat> the next thing is suppose if there is employee that we have and if I really want employee to be taken as maybe EMP. So this is also allowed that wherever I have referred employee, I can always Im import employee as a some sort of shorthand or ally syntax like EMP and we can start using EMP instead of employee. So it's kind of maybe um, functionality from both the sides. That is during export, you can say uh, uh, something and as allies, you can send it. And while importing, you can refer something with the help of allies name. So if I save this 01 and if I save 00TS, let's try to transpile the things again and let's try to observe whether it works. So let's get Zero zero TS file transpiled first. Then let us transpile zero one TS and let us try to run zero one JS. You'll find out it works exactly in the same manner. So it's very simple to work with something like maybe import and export like statements. Now, several number of times, like we have exported multiple things from here and we imported multiple things over here. In case you have only one class or one thing available to uh, to export in one particular file. So in such cases, you can export it the uh, way we used it. Like either using export and curly brackets like this or by simply putting export keyword over here. So if one file has got, let's say one single content only, maybe I'll uh, try to discuss that in a new file. So let me take a new file here. Uh, let's give a name to it as zero three dot ts or zero two dot ts and in this file let's create a class uh, let's call it as some sample class and i wish to use some method here print which is just going to return void and which is just going to log on the console print from sample now this particular sample class is the only class that is available here and I really wish to export it. So I may say export and then I may say export default. So now what happens is you don't have to ultimately specify here like when we try importing this code in case of 01TS. Normally how I would have imported it, I would have imported it like this in 01TS like this. 
I would have gone for something like sample and I would have specified here this should be from 0, 1, sorry, 0, 2, kind of you can say 5. But then since, let me specify here, let me remove default from here first. So you will find out sample comes from 0, 2 and then I can always start using it. Now the only thing is, sample is the only thing available for export here and if I just start using default keyword, I need not specify here something like curly brackets and what to import, I need not specify in here. I may directly say I need to import sample from 0 to. So what is it that I can do now? I can start using you know anything, whatever comes from 0 to, it's always going to be sample for me. So what will happen if I say S from here? So import S from 0 to, suppose if I say, and then if I start using it over here, uh, let's say let obj equal to new s and if i say object dot i get print here let's try to recompile 0 2 and 0 1 as well let's recompile this so i have something exported default and let us try to use 0 1 ts again so i have imported something with by the name s and then I wish to execute the code now. You will find out it simply prints something from sample. So if I go back to code, I only have exported something as default which means whenever somebody ex ex imports 02.ts, the person is going to go and get only this particular file, this particular class only because I specify this as default. So you need not actually know what you are importing. Whatever you specify in import, this becomes kind of you can say allies now. You can specify sample. Ultimately, what will happen is whatever allies name you have used, that allies name becomes allies for whatever is default given here. You may start using import sample here itself, like import sample, for example. Then it's by default VS Code is going to go and understand it that 02 has got sample as in default. So anyway, sample is going to be available for importing purpose. And then I may start using sample over here as it is. So you will find out you don't have to, since there are no multiple files, I can just get rid of these curly brackets. I can start using the allies name directly. I can start using the class name directly. And then it becomes a short and sweet syntax for importing something that is exported default. So now let's do one thing. Let's try to uh, understand uh, maybe uh, kind of you can say arrays in terms of generics. And then we will try to define or try to use uh, maybe that interface type array or kind of array which is uh, going to have employees as well as uh, customers and we will try to use the common method that we have defined called as get details.